Hello YouTube, hello beekeepers. Uh, I totally screwed up. I made a mistake. I did something stupid and I got it on video. And I almost didn't uh, put this up online because it's pretty painful and embarrassing and stupid. But it's part of my experience and if I can learn from my mistake and share this with someone else and someone else can learn from my mistake, then maybe this won't happen again. So I'm going to take you through the video and step by step tell you what I did, what I did wrong, and tell you what I learned. Hello again, it's time for an update on the bees. We put the bees in the hive on Saturday. It's now Thursday, so this is the fifth, fifth day. It's the fourth full day they've been in there. And I'm going to open it up and check on, make sure the queen is out of her cage and see if we have any honeycomb forming. And just uh, have a look inside, see what things look like. Okay, so let me take you through this disaster. It started off innocent enough. I had to look inside the hive to see if the queen had gotten out of her cage within the first four days. I wanted to see if the bees were drawing comb and the ultimate goal, the ultimate cool thing would be to see eggs. And that was sort of goal number three. All right, let's see what is happening in the hive. Wow! Goal number one, open the hive for the very first time and check to see if the queen was out of her cage. If not, let her out of the cage. There's the queen cage. I don't know if she's out. I assume she is. Look at that pile of bees. disturb them but I do want to reach them in there. Let's see if I can get the queen cage. Alright she is not in the queen is out of the cage. I totally cleaned out the cage. Goal number two, check to see if the bees are drawing honeycomb. And they were, very nicely. There were four frames with comb, and there was a giant cluster of bees, and they seemed to be healthy, and they were working, and everything looked great. I do want to see if there's any eggs. That is what I want to check. I decided to look for eggs. So I have a hive. It's active. The queen is out of her cage. The bees are drawing comb. Four of eight frames have comb on them. Everyone seems happy and buzzing. I should not have touched the frames.
Here's where it all went wrong. So sorry. Shit. So unfortunately, the comb fell outside the hive, and I picked it up and immediately put it back in the hive. I knew I wasn't supposed to leave it outside the hive. I don't know if they could reuse the wax. I didn't know at the time, but my my thought was there was a lot of pollen in there, and. I thought, if anything, they could take some pollen, they could reuse the pollen, they could harvest the pollen out of the cells, put them back into their other cells that did survive, and uh, maybe just go on from there. I was gonna go back in in a couple of days and check on them and make sure that there was more comb, and if they weren't using that comb that fell to the, to the ground that was on the bottom of their hive, I was just gonna take it out. guys. Well, I think I understand now why people uh, don't use foundationless frames, because that is so easy to break off. Well, it looks like everyone is back inside. Well, I have to admit that did not go as planned. Uh, I went to look and see if there were any eggs on the honeycomb. The comb fell right off the frame, fell outside the hive, and it was just bees everywhere. They're almost all back inside the hive now. Things are totally calm. It's been about 15 minutes since the incident. I feel like an idiot, but I think I just learned something and hopefully that doesn't ever happen again. So what are the things I learned from this experience? Number one, if you open up your hive and it looks like this, look at that pile of bees. Put the lid back on and walk away. You are done for the day. Number two, do not pick up foundationless frames unless they are fully drawn with comb. Top to bottom, side to side full of comb. If your comb is just down a little bit from the top and swinging back and forth, don't pick it up. Number three, most important, do not pick up foundationless frames unless they are fully drawn with comb. Top to bottom, side to side. So that was probably painful to watch. It was definitely painful to experience and I am a total noob. I know I look like a noob, I feel like a noob, I'm an idiot, I'm sorry, but I'm learning and I think I learned my lesson. It's not gonna happen again. And if this video goes out onto the wires and someone else sees it and sees my mistake and learns from it and they don't make the same mistake that I made, then that's a good thing. So I hope you take it that way I'm gonna keep doing this and keep learning as I go. And I don't think anyone got hurt. I looked around and there were no dead bees on the ground. 
I think I set them back in their comb production, but I don't think I killed anybody. So hopefully they're okay and uh, we can go on from there. Thanks for watching. I am so sorry. Shh.